Hello my beautiful viewers and welcome to my channel and today I have my favorite greens and blues for you guys for fall and here is my top 10. I have greens going into teals and then I have a teal and then some darker blues and cobalts and that type of stuff. So right now on my nails I have the last of my Julep and Sawyer. So I painted my nails and then hours later I went to bed my nails were completely dry and got sheet marks in them but this is the last of my julep and Sawyer so I'm gonna remove this and then we're gonna get on to um, my favorite fall greens and blues this first color I am doing is the Sally Hansen argan oil one and this is in the color therapeuter this is a polish that I actually received from Leah. So we did a swap and this is one of the polishes that she sent me and this is this beautiful metallic like sagey green shade. There you go. Now the thing is is this has got, I can clearly see that this has got green in it. But the color family they say beige, off-white, gray, gold. And that's not what I see. I see like like a metallic sagey green. It's I don't I don't know why they called it <laughs> a beige off white gray gold because that's not what it is. There's no beige in it, no off white, maybe a little gray, maybe a little gold, but there's green in it for sure. So here we are after two coats. Love this shade for the fall. It just, it screams fall to me. It's a, it's like one of those perfect green shades without it being like in your face green. You know what I'm saying? So here we are with Sally Hansen in Therapeuter. Okay, so this next one, as you can see, I have worn it a lot. I actually did mark it because I was planning on panning it. <laughs> but this is the my go-to polish for St. Patrick's Day. But this is in the color Lucky. And this is described as a Kelly Green and Gold Coin multi-dimensional full coverage glitter. And it is a full coverage glitter. It's got like that really thick jelly base. And then you have all of these green and gold glitters in it. It's so, so, so beautiful. And when I use this up, it's starting to get old and thickening up really fast. So I got to get it used up. But once I use this up, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely repurchasing it. This has been my go-to green for St. Patrick's Day. And I wear it for um, the Celtic Festival in Missoula every year as well. So I always wear this one at least twice a year, sometimes more. So here we are after one coat, and as you can see, you just had to go over it a little bit, but it's a really, like I said, a really thick jelly polish formula, so you get that really deep dimension in there. And this is great in one coat, as you can see, but perfect in two. Just gonna do it in one coat, because you guys can see what it looks like in one coat. Just because I want to kind of save this, but I also want to pan at the same time. So this is just a beautiful green, and I love it for wearing it in the fall. Just because, you know, this Kelly green and gold is just screams, you know, that, that transition stage in fall, you know. So here is Julep in Lucky. Okay, so my next green is this Julep in the color Betsy. And every time I wear this, I am reminded of one of my subscribers, Betsy. Hey, girl. <laughs> anyway, her channel is Make Up Your Mind, and I'll put her channel in the description box below. Go check her out. She is so cute. And subscribe. Show her some love from Z. So, anyway, here's my quick little plug <laughs> for the day. But this is Betsy, and this is August's 
uh, Peridot for August. So this is in the Birthstone collection, but you can purchase this separately. It is available on the Julep website. And this is described as a gold-capped Peridot Birthstone Iridescent Shimmer. And it is so beautiful. And it's got, as you can see, like right on the edges, it's it's got that duochrome-esque to it. So super beautiful. This was actually named um, after the rock star fashion designer Betsy Johnson. So here we are after two coats of Julep in Betsy. And as you can see, it's, it's just such a really, really pretty green. It actually shows it much brighter in the camera than in person. In person, you can definitely see that um, shift, that shift that turns to brown or bronze. It's like green and then shifts to bronze. I don't know if we could show. Oh, there we go. Now you can see that. That it shifts to bronze so super pretty love this one definitely a beautiful green for the fall if you love greens for the fall this is definitely one I recommend it's so pretty and definitely go check out make up your minds channel say hi to Betsy for me hi Betsy Okay, so this next one is this beautiful teal shade. This is in the color Lena. And this is described as a teal with gold shimmer. And as you can see, that it does have that gold shimmer in there, which is so pretty. And yeah, definitely a really fun shade. As you can see this is definitely a full coverage polish now in the camera it shows that it's really bright like a summer shade but it's actually a lot darker and more green in person I'll have to take a picture and add it in the screen so you guys can see the the true color of this polish this is in the color Lena okay so this next one is my favorite tealy blue shade this is Julie G in the color Brady Bear. There we go. This, I just love the Julie G formula way more than the Jessie's Girl formula. And Brady Bear is such a perfect fall teal shade. So beautiful. And here we are after two coats of Julie G's in Brady Bear. It's so beautiful. And the nice thing about this is it's identical to what's in the bottle. What's shown in the bottle is what you will get on your nails. And that's what's fabulous about this. Okay, so this next one is this CoverGirl Outlast in the color Teal on Fire. I believe this came in the Hunger Games collection but I actually received this from Selena from a uh, nail polish swap that we did a while ago So here we are after two coats of Teal on Fire, and look at that beautiful polish. This is definitely a, a perfect fall teal shade. 
I really love this polish. Okay, so this next polish is this Femme Fatale polish, and this is in the color End of the Storm, and this is a thermal polish, so it's either tan or this beautiful blue, and this is so extremely perfect for the fall. So beautiful, beautiful shade. And if it's available, I'll list it down below. I think this was limited edition though. So sorry if it is, but I'll see if I can find it or something that's somewhat close. So when it, your nails are cold, it turns this beautiful periwinkle blue. And it's got all these beautiful holographic and iridescent glitters in there. It does have both. And then when your when it's warm, your nails turn this beautiful nude shade. So here we are after two coats. Love this, but I want to try to warm up my fingers so you guys can see what it looks like when your fingers warm up. <laughs> my fingers are actually really cold right now, hence why it stays this color. Here is what the nails look like as is, and then let's warm them up so you guys can see what it looks like. So there you go. As you can see, that the tips of my nails are pretty neutral they're, as they're slowly starting to go back to that beautiful blue shade. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what the neutral color looks like. It is definitely my perfect mannequin hands when it's um, in the neutral state. But if you could see all of that beautiful gold glitters in there and then the holographic glitters. It's just so pretty and this is like my only thermal polish that I have. I don't think I have any other thermal polishes. But yeah, definitely love this. Super pretty. Enjoy this. Next is this OPI blue one. And this is in the color You're So Euro. Super pretty blue. This is actually showing way brighter in the camera than in person. So, oh, it's such a pretty blue, but it is like two shades darker in person than in the camera. So I will definitely take a photo and insert the photo in here just so you guys can see the true color because it's definitely a couple shades lighter in the camera than in person. So this is Year So Euro by OPI. So pretty, perfect in two coats as you can see. Okay, so this next one is one of my favorite blues. This one's by Hard Candy, and this is in the color Mr. Right. And it's a beautiful dark blue cobalty color. And it's definitely, again, darker in person than in the camera, but the camera is doing this justice for, for sure. Look at how beautiful this blue is. And I don't have any blue that's remotely similar to this. This is just so pretty. This is my one and only hard candy polish. 
that I have left. This is one that I kept. This one I actually got in a swap with cauliflower, Miss Dawn. So it's a beautiful, dark blue. It, so this last one is this julep polish in the color Elise. And this one's described as an indigo with purple micro shimmer. And I love indigo and purple, or indigo and cobalt shades. It's all in the same, like really dark bluish purple. Love them. So this one is my favorite blue of the bunch. With especially with that purple micro shimmer that are that's running through this indigo. It's so beautiful. I'm going to actually paint all my nails with this. So as you can see, this is definitely a one coater polish. So, so, so beautiful. Love this polish. So pretty. So thank you guys for joining me in my last video for my favorite polishes for the fall. And like I said, I have so many nail polishes and I just want to pull them all out that that's why I had a hard time narrowing down my favorites and I narrowed it down to my top 40, which is, oh my goodness, really sad. But at least hopefully, even if these are limited edition, at least you can get, you guys can get a sense of color and so maybe you might have a polish in your collection that is similar to this so and if you do please let me know I would love to check it out um, so yeah thank you guys for joining me in this video and I'll see you guys in my next video bye